hello guys in this video we are going to install the kali linux the kali linux net hunter in our android device i am going to use the asus zenfone 2 before i begin let us know what is kali linux kali linux according to the official website is a debian based linux distribution that is aimed at advanced penetration testing and security auditing in simple words, it is generally used for hacking purposes and testing the network. Okay, so installing this system in our mobile phone will enable it to hack any Wi Fi system. Okay, so let's start. So, a link has been put up in the description, and upon clicking the link, you are taken to a website like this so there are mainly four files here the drivers the rom the gaps and the, ultimately the net hunter so you need to download all of these files upon clicking the net hunter link it is going to open a google drive page there are a lot of files here you need not install or download all of them what you can do is basically if you are running on a stock ROM, you are going to download this one. And if you are running some custom ROM like Cyanogen Mod or Resurrection Remix or Lineage OS, you are going to download this one. Okay. In my case, I am running Cyanogen Mod 14.1. So I am going to download this file. So just click download, download anyway. And as you can see, it has started downloading. It is a pretty big file, some 730 MBs. So it is going to take some time. I have already downloaded it. So I am just going to cancel it for now. Put all the files that you already downloaded in the micro SD of your mobile phone. And next, you need to go to your mobile phone and go to the recovery mode. Press the volume key and the power button together until you feel the vibration and then leave them at the same time okay so it will take you to your recovery mode so now you need to select your recovery mode actually it will take you to your bootloader you need to select your recovery mode press the volume down button and select it by pressing the power button As you can see, it is opening. Make sure that you have installed the TRW recovery in your system before. If you do not know how to do it, then you may see my other video where I explain it, how to install the recovery. So once you have installed, I mean, once the recovery has opened, you need to uh, click install and select the micro SD card. So now you just need to flash your NetHunter Zenfone2.zip, that file. You just select that one and slide the slider. So the installation process has started. It will take a few minutes to get installed completely so you need to have patience so i'm going to fast forward the video at this point because it is going to take some time once it get installed then you can perform the next steps. In this video, I'm going, only going to tell you how to install the Kali Linux ROM, but I'm not going to tell you how to hack a Wi-Fi. Maybe in some of my later videos, I'm going to tell you actually how can you hack a Wi-Fi using this ROM. So please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to get more videos.
and if you have any difficulties please do comment below So the ROM has still not installed. Yeah, it takes a few minutes. So I think it's almost done. It's going to take a few more minutes. So that's it, it is done. Now next thing you need to do is to reboot your system. Just click on the reboot system button. Okay. So it is rebooting. It generally does not have any impact on your previous ROM. Your files do not get deleted, your apps do not get deleted. It's all fine with all such stuff. So booting has started. And here it is, the Kali Net Hunter. As you can see. So here is it is almost similar to my CM14, but it has got a few tools right down here you can see that this is a hackers keyboard app and next is the net hunter app okay for net hunter app you need to give it root access so in a cyanogen rom it is pretty easy to grant root access to a particular app i'll tell you how to do that just go to settings next go to about phone and then you are going to go to into the build number and tap the build number for seven times so you have enabled the developer settings next go back and go to the developer options just scroll down a bit and you're going to see the root access tab just select it and select apps and adb okay so that is have a granted the root access to apps next go to play store and you need to install an app called super user or super yeah super user yeah it's super icu you just need to install that app just accept it and install it it's a pretty small app just two point something mb so once you've installed just open the app now since i'm running the trw recovery i'm going to select the trw it is going to update the binaries so we just allow it okay allow and it'll reboot your device Just rebooting in the TRW recovery mode. In case you do not have installed TRW recovery, you can even go for the normal method by clicking the other tab. So the TRW recovery mode has come up and it is installing. So it has done and it has again gone for a rebooting. So next up, we need to do this word. Again, the CM launcher logo comes up. Okay, so it's done. Next, we need to again go to the Play Store. Okay, we need to go to the Play Store. And this time you need to install an app called BusyBox. Okay, so just install the BusyBox app. Yeah, just install the BusyBox app.
So it is also a small app. It's installed, so I just open it up. It has one super user request, so I grant it. So next I need to install this busybox, so I just click on install. So it's done. The busybox has been installed. Next thing that I'm going to do is now I'm, I will try to open my NetHunter app. Okay, so I click on the NetHunter. So now see, okay, so it has opened. So let's see what we can do with this app. There are a lot of things. In the Kali services, you can see there is SSH, Apache, Hotpad, and far more utilities. In the Kali CH route, it shows some status. So let's go for some other stuffs. Yeah. So there are some custom commands also that are available. Okay, so it does not open. There may be some other way to open it. So anyway. So there are a lot of options. As you can see that there are a lot of hacking options here. In fact, there are all network testing options to be very precise. There are a lot of options. So another app that comes is this terminal. Okay. So there are three terminals that you can have and select the Android one. You can see that it's pretty much the terminal that you get in Linux. Okay. So any Linux you get such terminals. And the last one is the VNC. So this is an 800 VNC. So this is all for this video. Thank you.